What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds. Mm -hmm. Let's check the engine room. That, that is a big engine. Oh. What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion plant and mass effect core. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Well, can you tell me one thing? <clears throat> the, the, the engines, can they take it? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. Kenny, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field lead. Kenny, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Thank you, Gabby, for skipping all the pointless techno battle. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stella Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Aw, poor you. I'll bring you back some beers. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Yeah, that was a badass. You guys are totally cool. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seem to be doing that. Okay... How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Hey, so why did you go, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the Collectors right in the daddy bags. That's enough for me. I don't have to care about their strange, unethical experiments on humans and aliens. Uh, I don't have a codex like you. Carry on. Well do, Commander. <laughs> I'm just happy that there's a thing that is finally a Scottish engineer on this ship. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. I better then do something for them. Just for the very fact that they're so delightfully chipper about this and all about possibly dying. <laughs> oh! What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. Huh. Well, I do admit it does look pretty cool. Hey, look, I even have a ship for collection stuff. 
and it's a trophy broom. Ty would totally, would totally like that if I got a bunch of ships. I bet that's how I would have some. She has a hard arm for ships. She gets wet in ships. Whatever. Alright, good. Any rock and roll? No. <sighs> Are you freaking kidding me? That's the closest we get? Oh, oh crap. Oh, mother, mother of hell. Great. Just super. We're 200 years into the future, and good news, everybody! Turns out, no, nope, no fucking heavy metal. What an effing load! Ah! Jesus. Well, I will say, well, well, I will say one thing. The bed looks nice, supportive. Yeah, this definitely could work, I suppose. Invite someone up. Yeah, I don't know. I just wish that Tally was here. The galaxy map. Now, I'm not going to really be doing that this much in here during this whole playthrough. Um, it's kind of boring, but let me just show you what you can expect. Alright, this is the new system for figuring out what the planets hold. Essentially, it's how you gain materials to uh, build stuff. You essentially smove your cursor around, and when you find a just move your cursor around here. When you find a deposit or something, your scanner will go up. Then you just have to launch a probe away. and pick up what you find. Now, it goes slow at first, but eventually you'll find a uh, faster scanner. If you pick it up, launched. of course. 